Every basketball player in the world wants to one day play in the NBA to showcase their talent on the biggest basketball contest in the world. Even after getting drafted into the NBA, making the debut is one of the biggest nights for any player. But that isn't true for every player. A prime example of that is former NBA player Kent Benson. Benson, who was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks using the first overall pick in the 1977 NBA draft, probably had the worst NBA debut experience in history. Not only did he duel with the legendary Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but the Los Angeles Lakers center sucker punched him. However, tasting a legend's fist wasn't the only experience he took away from that fateful night. Later, he also learned a powerful lesson that all of us, not just ballers, could apply in our lives. Benson detailed the infamous play from his point of view. I got to experience uh, the, in my NBA debut, went up against the Los Angeles Lakers and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, we control a tip and uh, come down and Brian Winters takes a, a, a shot from outside and misses it. I go up and over Kareem and rebound it and put the ball back in. On the way back down the court, he elbows me several times and, and uh, I beat him down to his spot on the on the block there where he could shoot his hook shot, his famous hook shot. And uh, as he came barreling down there, he takes and drives his elbow right into my chest. And so we're jostling for position and I just elbow him back. Nothing malicious, but elbow him back, but he put on a big act. He put on an act like he was hurt, he'd been over and kind of fell back 10 feet. You can see him, he looks, see if the officials are looking. And uh, I'm watching the ball come down the court because he's back behind me. He takes a running start and sucker punches me right in the temple. Didn't knock me out, but it knocked me silly. I was seeing stars and birdies and everything oh. else. He hit me so hard he broke his hand. He was out 21 days and, uh, or 21 games, excuse me, and uh, had the largest fine of the in, in the NBA history at the time. In those few months Abdul-Jabbar was out, Benson learned one of the greatest lessons one could learn in life. Uh, that gave me an opportunity uh, to learn about forgiveness. Uh, I had forgiven him. It was hard to do, no doubt. Uh, I had a lot of people saying, you know, you ought to sue him and you ought to do this, you ought to do that. It all sounds weird nowadays, but we rarely hear an NBA player forgiving another player soon after a rough incident. Benson needed just a few months to understand and forgive Kareem. The 6 feet 10 Benson didn't live up to his status as a first overall pick, but forgiving someone who left you with a trauma in your NBA debut is a legendary act. Tell us in the comments, do you think Kareem is the greatest center of all time? And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.